you know, people are not feeling Candace Owens. It's coming out that she is really getting the same treatment as Amarosa and Stacey Dash. And her rebranding effort is not winning over a lot of people. A lot of folks feel that Candace has been too anti-Black and they don't trust her. They don't trust Candace. So the conservative media figures sat down with the Breakfast Club and Joe Budden in March. She, you know, we did see her do these interviews and she's making an attempt to make herself over. And, you know, her interview was March 22nd. Well, since she made the announcement that she has severed her partnership, well, they severed their partnership with Candace Owens. People are just, mm -mm, they are just not gravitating towards Candace. So as a pro-Trump Republican Party supporter, her messaging regarding Black people and the non-existent systemic racism have made her, really, she's like a pariah now of the community. When speaking with uh, Joe Budden about whether or not she has Black pride, she had this to say, I have pride, period. This is important because this is the strength of the government, the division of everything. You should be a proud person if you are a good person, not because you are a black person. If you are a black person and you're a good person, you should be proud of yourself. But she was still black when I was a bad, so she, you know, but I was still black when I was a bad person. So why would I go around and say I have pride? Wow. And the evil Gabrielle Union, as somehow referred to her, further stated, I want to get to a place where Black America goes through this awakening, and I think we're getting closer. I really do. I have a lot of hope for Black America and that we are waking up slowly but surely, that people are being more receptive to some of the messages. Joe, you're dead wrong for this hater on your show. So this is what Gabrielle Union is saying. She couldn't say she was black and proud. What? Read a comment on the interview teaser post on TikTok. She's only black when she needs the NAACP for a lawsuit, wrote another person. In 2007, she successfully launched a lawsuit against Stanford Board of Education and received a $37,500, that was her settlement amount, after claiming she was targeted with racist messages and threats from white students at her high school in Stanford, Connecticut. But in 2019, while speaking at the conservative political action conference, she declared America is not a racist country. Wow, she sounded like Tim Scott and Nimrata. Mm -mm -mm. So Owens married a white British businessman, George Farmer. The couple uh, married four years ago. They now have three children. Her conversation with Charlemagne the God and DJ Envy were, you know, met with similar outrage. But most brutal smears I've ever faced was the media's attempt to convince Black people that my own community, that I hated them. No, the media didn't do that, Candace. You did that. The media did not do that. 
every time you opened your mouth, as long as you were getting paid by them folks, you had all kinds of disparaging things to say. Finally, Black America is recognized that they were intentionally misled. That is thanks in large part to the Breakfast Club interview and Joe Budden. I mean, is she think that was a positive thing for her? Apparently she does. So she put that out there and she later deleted that Instagram post. So she put that in an Instagram post. Despite her viewing the brief black media tour as a success, um, you know, she is still out here trying to rebrand herself. And it's viewed as a reminder the other black women who took her same stance against the black community, same script, different cast. Remember Stacey Dash and Amarosa? were used to tear down the black community. Then they were fired from their conservative platforms and had to rebrand. Candace is getting the same treatment. I'm watching to see if or how far she'll pivot. Okay, that was a post on X by uh, Jerome Trammell. Mm-mm-mm. Amarosa went from trying to impress Trump while on The Apprentice to being chosen to serve as a top aide at the White House, Office of Public Liaison. Months into Trump assuming office, she resigned. Through insiders, uh, through insiders said she was fired and later claimed she witnessed the former president use the N-word among other claims in her memoir, unhinged. I just can't believe I fell for a con man, a con man who turned out to be the biggest fraud. This is what she said. This is Amarosa. And this is what she said on entertainment tonight in 2023. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, well, you don't really see Amarosa out here anymore. So, and it goes into clueless actress Stacey Dash, also a conservative who drew criticism for her many divisive remarks regarding topics like race and white supremacy and that Black History Month and Black media outlets like BET should be eliminated. Her views fared well among white executives who hired her as a Fox correspondent though she may have been under the impression that her perspectives were valued. Dash would eventually admit to the Daily Mail to being used as an angry conservative black woman. And at the time in my life, it was who I was. She was booted from the network in 2016. Man, I remember that day. I remember that day. We were all out on Twitter, and I mean, back then, Twitter was exploding. I think all of social media was, but it was huge out on Twitter. Since then, she has launched a fail run for a seat in Congress. She opened up about her sobriety issues. Critics have not forgotten about her past, and the same appears to apply to Owens. Yeah. People are not going to gravitate towards her. She got a following right now. And, you know, I, I predict many of them are going to fall off. You know, especially if she started getting into more black issues. You know, she had a big white following. And there were some Latinos that came onto my page trying to defend her. But at the end of the day, if you didn't see Amarosa and Stacey Dash embrace after what they did, you're not going to see that happen with Candace either. Mm -mm. I think Candace actually was far worse. But 
y'all gonna have to tell me what you think about this video do you think candace is now completely done or do you think there's a chance that she can rebrand herself i don't think she can among um the black community at all i don't believe she can but with conservatives you know that might be a different issue Plus, I don't see a lot of outlets really bringing her on. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.